everyday women, women of all ages, body types, and budgets, look and feel their absolute best. And I appreciate your support and hope for your help on my mission. Hi everybody, I'm Erin Busby with BusbyStyle.com. Thanks so much for watching. Through my business, I do a lot of wardrobe styling one-on-one -on -one with clients, but then I also occasionally will do a fashion editorial. Now, since I'm in San Antonio and there aren't many publications here, I don't do a ton of fashion editorials, but usually about every other month I'll do one for a publication called San Antonio Magazine. So I need to be prepared with a styling kit, so I thought it would be fun to show you what's in a styling kit. I think whether you want to be a stylist or you're already styling people and you want to know what you need to bring on a shoot or maybe you just want to see some helpful hints and tricks that can help you in your everyday life it can be very interesting so let's take a look I have this guy here which looks kind of like a tackle box and that's what I keep everything in it's just handy you can see it it's out accordion style. So in this bad boy I have lots of things. The first thing that I have is crazy glue and this is important if anything happens on a shoe a stone falls out of a bracelet or a ring and you need to glue it because you don't want to pay for it. It's essential. I have these little safety pins in both gold and silver in case I want to cheat the length of a necklace. So I can always take a pendant necklace, you know, that sort of falls right under the bust and cheat it up so it's more of a bib necklace hitting your collarbone. So it's really easy to do with just some regular safety pins. Um, if I were to say there's one essential that every stylist needs to have, um, that would be this. And that's just double-sided tape. And there are so many uses for this. I mean, you want to hold a lapel down on a floppy collar. Uh, you want to hold a cuff up. You've got a French cuff on your shirt. You want to hold that up. You've got a waist belt, and there's you've lost weight, and there's a flappy um, end to the waist belt. You can make sure that it stays down with this double-sided tape. Uh, you need to hold a plunging neckline in place. Double-sided tape. You want to hold a bra on your shoulder from falling off your shoulder. Double-sided tape. Now, this brand I like. I've actually worked with the owner and creator of Showstoppers. I like this brand because it's easy to use and because, more importantly, it doesn't stick on your clothes. You can put it on delicate fabrics like chiffons and silks, and it's not going to leave that sticky stuff. And I've used other brands, and they have left sticky stuff. So definitely uh, be careful about that when you're using this double-sided tape on delicate fabrics. Here's another real essential for a stylist. If you put some painter's tape on the bottom of your shoe, um, it's going to prevent the sole from getting scuffed. But this is a must. And then usually what I do um, to protect the shoe even further, because normally I'm pulling shoes from Saks and Neiman Marcus that are valued at, you know, anywhere from $800 to $2,000. And personally, I don't want to buy all those shoes, and they're almost always in model size, which is 10 10 and a half, not my size. So I put some sort of cushion and I just cut this out to the sole of the shoe and then I put the tape over the cushion. You could also do something like these, the foot pedals, and then the tape over it. But these are kind of expensive, so I prefer not to use these if I can and I just buy it. This is like kids' foam paper that I use for the bottom of the shoe. But this is the best tape for shoe taping because it's easy to come off. It's not going to stick to the sole of the shoe. One thing I would say... Um, just be careful when you're taping a shoe. If it's a very expensive shoe, a really nice shoe, and sometimes they have that really soft, almost suede-like sole, the minute you put this tape on it, it's going to show, and you won't be able to return them. So just be mindful of that. Some really fun things in here. We've got some dishwashing liquid. This was for, um, I picked this up after my last shoe because the model was wearing bronzer all over her body and we put her in a swimsuit and she got bronzer all over the swimsuit. It's a swimsuit I did not want to buy so uh, somebody gave me this tip who worked in a swimsuit shop. She said Dawn dishwashing liquid and water will get rid of all of that tanning uh, lotion so don't worry about it and it did. 
I also have these little panties, disposable panties, just in case. I have a lot of these clips because models are very skinny and, you know, you need to cinch in places so that you get the, the clothes looking perfect. I have one of these guys, a tagging gun, so that if I take a tag off for a shoot, I can always re-tag it. Um, so that's very handy for re-tagging. Blend brush, it's pretty standard. Oh, the other thing that I always bring, and this was again something that I added to my kit after being on a couple of shoots, um, I bring these. These are like little slip-on ped socks, kind of like the throwaway ones you find at the store, but these are a little nicer. Um, I had a model who couldn't quite fit into a shoe, and also was very hot, and I was worried about her kind of sweating too much in the shoe and damaging the shoe in that way. So these were great to prevent you know, her from damaging the shoe. And also helped her get her foot into the shoe. I always bring a strapless bra because you never know, especially if you're working with inexperienced models or just regular women. I always bring Spanx, not that they ever need it. And I do also have um, a couple other things. This guy, it gets rid of deodorant marks. However, if you don't want to buy this, you can always use just that top control part of your pantyhose and just rub the deodorant marks and they'll come out. And rubber bands, a Sharpie, and some scissors. That's it. That's everything in the kit. Those are the things that you definitely need if you're going on a shoot with models or you're doing some sort of commercial styling or editorial styling. Those are the things I would suggest that you bring. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.